And welcome back to, I was about to say, Kingdom Death Monster Plays Forged by Geeks. That would be an almost accurate thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I did end up saying it. Um, we just hunted a basic white lion. Went pretty good. We knew this was going to be an easy fight. We had originally planned to take a phoenix, but given that our people got forced to skip the hunt, we were like, well, fuck. Yeah. So we just sent out some noobs. It was focused on getting them some hunt XP to have more people to go after the phoenix, possibly for the last hunt event. But at this point, we're just a couple sessions away from the finale so we're really getting limited on what we can do and without having our people of the stars things are not going oh great. shit we forgot something oh we, we get got the... we got one resource out of the we would have picked an organ yeah so i'll just say the golden re whiskers because it's a low rare okay yeah because we would have gotten to pick a resource because of our ultimate weapon thanks fortnite oh wow thank you very much i right. really like the spelling of your name actually oh yeah that's cool yeah that's awesome uh, so, um, yay! <laughs> yeah, we got loot. We got some decent loot. Can't complain. But I don't think we're going to get our weapon at this point. Especially since we forgot to pick up the tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was great. Um, okay, so, uh, we're back into town. So, we set, it, we set up the settlement, except technically we should lay out the invitations. Oh, yes. Survivors return. And we will get our four endeavors. Yep. I will lay out our innovations while you get our event going. Open Maw. That sounds... Oh! Uh, this one isn't that bad. At least you don't have to do it. A long <laughs> stone face slowly opens its mouth. Survivors prove their bravery by running into it. The fuck we do. <laughs> I don't know. Might send that retired guy in. Uh, what can we get out of it? Yes, so. Uh, you have to roll any number of d10 and add the results. If you roll any doubles, the maw shat snaps shut, leaving you trapped in the darkness. You are dead, and no one else may endeavor here this year. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption. I'm never going to get over that. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. Uh, 1 through 7, dismembered leg. Though that's interesting. So the 1 through 7... Okay, the, but that doesn't save us. We can't get dismembered leg if we're pristine. Hmm. Um, oh, right. Uh, th if you have 3 plus courage, you may roll again using one more d10. Uh, gain plus 2 courage. Gain plus 2 courage in two random re vermin resources. Gain the lantern sword gear. Uh, or iron will. You cannot be knocked down. Reduce all knockback. You suffer to knockback 1. Can you hand me our characters? I want to check something, because that may end up being something worth doing. Well, but we can't do anything with it yet. Yeah. Update death count. We have no deaths. Update the timeline. Yeah, um, I have pristine on Umber. Yeah, but you can still die if you roll doubles. Yes. So, but it may be worth giving a shot to try to get the courage. Okay, so we may face the nemesis. Uh, we're going to face the nemesis this year. Yes. Um, <laughs> Tumble out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if I only wish we it worked could. that way. I don't think it's that nice for us. Okay, the tomb. All right, part three. Overwork and lack of rest take their toll. This Lantern Year archive all basic resources brought back by returning survivors. Are you fucking kidding me? So say goodbye to those. Say goodbye to our something. Yeah. <laughs> if there are we don't fewer, care about the other three. <laughs> if there are fewer than four people of the stars in the settlement, any survivors with zero hunt XP die. Okay. So who has zero hunt XP? Um, that would be Amber. Amber is now dead. Okay, Amber is dead. I'm fine over here, and we just got hunt XP for other characters. I think we just got uh, one more endeavor. Yes, we did, because we lost the character. <laughs> As Kurt Camp saying, boned. We just got boned. <laughs> yeah. Though that could have been much worse. We just took out three characters with no hunt XP. Yeah. If we hadn't taken them out... Bye-bye, population! Who needs four of those four people? Yes, okay, another death count. Bam. Though I think I would have rather had lost them and been able to take out our people we wanted this lantern year. Okay, yeah, I know, definitely. The departing survivors hide, avoiding labor. They heal all broken severe injuries and gain plus two luck tokens. Add the tomb part four to the next year on the timeline. Okay, that's bullshit. Seriously, you've got a nemesis. Oh, 
Oh. They plan that. We have oh. extra luck versus the butcher. No, the butcher's worthless with luck. Okay. He only has one location that can be crit against. So why is the luck useful? You don't have to choose a butcher. We can choose a different nemesis. Yeah. Like, who could we choose? We'd have to choose a level three, and that's the problem. The tyrant. No, you oh. can't do the tyrant. Okay. You can only face the tyrant if you have him. The if uh, It specifically lays it out on the uh, the settlement phase. But there, I believe the king's hand has some very nice crit locations. Ooh. There is that one location, if I'm remembering correctly, where if you crit on it, he just, like, leaves or something like that. Ooh. Okay, so we'll talk about this, and we may be facing a different one. Yeah, it might be worthwhile. Ooh, that could be interesting. So that's an interesting thing. So in any Ooh. case, I need to add the tomb part four to the next lantern here. Okay. So there's that. Yeah, so let's check this out. <laughs> and we're on to develop now, right? No more timeline events? Yeah, we're done. Alrighty. Hmm. Yeah, okay, give me these settlement locations out of the box. Settlement locations out of the box. Settlement. Probably in the big box. Oh, right there. Okay, sweet. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that could change things, that plus two luck. Hmm. Ooh, that, that, ooh, ooh, that, that gets really interesting. So, what are you reading? I'm looking at the hit locations for the, for the oh, okay. man, or well, the hand. Read them out as you go through if you see anything interesting. The attacker damages the monster's ornate armor and gains plus one survival at one extra token to impossible eyes. Oh, oh but, that, okay. Oh, but we'd have to kill him. And he's the one with the eyes that open. Yeah, but the crits can help with that. Hmm, but two extra luck isn't going to do that much. And That's 20% chance on every hit. Plus, a, plus I have the luck token. Plus I have plus one. No. I mean, I still think it may not still not be worth it, but it's an interesting, like if we weren't so bad off, yeah, like, so for example, I could get one character to have a crit with 5 plus using that. So that would be the max I could do is a crit on all 5 pluses. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> How bad? <laughs> Toughness 30. For level 3? Okay, that's not happening! <laughs> Speed plus three, damage plus six. So in other words, we'd only be wounding him if, uh, yeah, no, that's not happening. Goodbye. No, but you can crit him if you, uh... Yeah, but with 30 toughness, the only way we could wound him is critting. Yeah, but you've got like a 30% chance of critting every time you hit him. Mm. One extra token... So you have to get 20 tokens on Impossible Eyes to kill him. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh, that's harsh. Ignore all lenses to effects and instead flip all lenses to closed. Uh. Monster gains minus one damage token. Gain plus one iron strange resource. Hand is knocked down and gains a plus one damage token. The hand suffers a wound before it stands up. Add plus 20 tokens. Add 20 tokens to impossible eyes? So that's an instant kill, isn't it? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I still, I'm thinking with the base plus 6 damage. Minus 1 speed, minus 1 accuracy, basic. Yeah, it's just interesting looking through it. Okay, um, so what are we going to do in town then? Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Is there anything we want to create? Uh, how much uh, organs do we have in town? How many organs to zip? Oh, I thought we had some from the, from uh, previous resources. I'm simply sure I don't have any... 
Uh, we have, oh yeah, we have two. We have two. Uh, three, if we count the pustules. Oh. Which? I, did we spend those? Um, no, we got two, I believe. Okay. That was the problem. So if we've got those three, um, we can make the hours ring now. I don't know if that's still useful. I mean, I don't think it's going to be that useful. Yeah, I think point. that's the bring out the retired person. Yeah, so I mean, we could bring, we could force Jade Noble back out to fight the Butcher, because we don't like them. Uh, do not gain tokens for any reason. Do not gain hunt, XP, or weapon proficiency. Retired wearers can depart. Okay, so that could be used to bring him out. Yeah, we could use it to bring him out. Since he's disposable. To. Yeah. And he could be the last person to run that. Yeah, the hours ring. It is. Oh, it's. Uh, oh, it's selfish. Unique and selfish. <laughs> Unique is you can only have one, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, selfish. 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 May not be in the same gear grid with any other gear with the other keywords. So. Okay. That's not too bad. So we could craft the hours ring if we wanted to. Though uh, the interesting thing is do not gain any tokens for any reason. Mm -hmm. That's actually kind of interesting when you think about it. Uh, the Shimmering Halo, is that one of the organs? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. yes. Oh, it was? It okay, then we can't make it. Okay. We're one short. Okay. <laughs> Getting rid of all of our basic resources. Okay, so we can't make that yet, so that's not an option. So I think in that case, we really don't have anything to craft. We could innovate, which might help us. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's do a basic innovation then. I'll dump the lion tail, the great cat bones, and the golden whiskers. Okay. And that'll get us an innovation. Yeah, oh shit. Hmm? There is that one little problem. Oh? All resources in the settlement storage are lost repairing the destruction. Where if was that? If we lose the butcher. Oh, if we lose the butcher? Lose the butcher, yeah. We can always do a Slenderman. Uh, no, we can't. We can't? No. Aww. We haven't introduced it. Oh. It's not a nemesis for us. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, so for our innovation this fine evening, we bring to you a scarification, a pottery, oh. a forbidden dance, and a bloodletting. We're getting pottery. We are getting pottery. Look at the description. If the settlement loses all its resources, you may select up to two resources. Ooh. To save. Ooh. So we could at least save the Shimmering Halo, though we're going to lose all of our iron. Maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah. We're going to lose the iron. We're going to lose the leather. We're going to lose everything. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Well, crap. Looking at options, yeah, I think pottery is the best anyway, just because of the plus one permanent uh, survival limit. Yeah. Okay, pottery it is. We have a lot of innovations, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know, and we haven't really even abused the, uh, whatchamacallit, the throne. No, we have not. Extensively. Okay, so we've got pottery, so we're now up to nine. Oh, we could now build the barber surgeon. Yeah, if we, so had, we had scrap. If we had scrap and organs. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we have scrap and organs. We have the organ because we have the lion testes, but we don't have any scrap, so we could theoretically. No, I think it needs three organs. Uh, no, it needs. Oh, yeah, you're right, three organs. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing for. So nope. For some reason, I thought pottery had a, a sequel, but it was just the barber surgeon, I suppose. Yep. Okay. Okay, so that was one endeavor down. We've got four left. Okay, so shit's got real. Yes, it did. Oh, I put those in the wrong spot. Thank you. Yeah. I've done that before. That's fine. It's easy to do. So we can last hurrah and try to get arena. We could try to get the scrap to make the weapon. Uh, oh, but if we're going to run away from the butcher, we're going to lose all our iron. Yeah. So getting scrap saved up right now would not be useful. Yep. Unless we could get, hold on, you need, you need three scrap or two to make an iron. Shit. We can't even get enough scrap to make an iron in this particular thing. Like well, even no, no. if we rolled perfectly, we can only get two scrap out of the deck because there's only two broken lanterns. So we literally yeah. cannot. So if we're going to spend endeavors, they should either be on growing population 
to have more sacrificial lambs to just send to the butcher at this point, or on trying to buff up some of our characters who may be able to fight him. If that makes sense. Well, there's also the possibility of trying some last ditch hurrahs to try to get people with the stars, if there's any options. So there's the fighting art. Well, actually, you know... Uh, Is there anything that would give courage? Uh, no. Uh, yes, there's the the scrap so salvage can give courage. Um, oh, but that's you have to roll a 10. Yeah, nightmare training isn't gonna... Well, yeah. Mm. Might do some scrap salvage just for the chance on number. Um, let's see. Oh, base accuracy and a scar would be an option. So we can take the terrible chance that they will die and send them for arena. Okay, does that have base accuracy and scar available? Yes, if you, though, well, doesn't skip the, the face next... give courage? Yes, the face does give courage. Oh. Uh, if you get rolled between a sixteen and a thirty-one, mm -hmm. you get a you get two courage. Oh. Here, let me see that. I think we may take that risk with Umber. Oh, but that would require three dice, probably. Or 16 and 31, you get two courage? Oh, because both of them do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'd probably need at least three dice to pull that off. Um, possibly four. If we like, want... Like, how much courage does he need, though? Three. So he needs the two off of that, and then one out of, like, the last hunt event, or possibly we send for Scrap Salvage. That's our pretty much our only chance. But that would make him a Sculptor, which would also dupe him. Does the duplication count as a People of the Stars? Okay. No, and in fact, they make it very difficult for that duplicate to become a People of the Star. Yeah, they do. I don't know. I think it's... What's... He only had... He can't get the Dismembered Lake. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only so if, if you roll doubles. If I roll doubles, he dies. Yeah. So three dice, that's pretty low chance of rolling doubles. I believe. Mm, you've got an 81% chance of rolling doubles. 81%? Or, excuse me, excuse me, 19% chance of rolling doubles. With three dice. With three dice, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, I think you're right with how... Matt... It's at least approximately close. Yeah. It's somewhere between 16 and 18, 16 and 19. So you basically have about a 20% chance. If we really desperate, if we desperately need the people, the stars, I think this is our best bet. And he's not super useful outside of that. He is a bit of our tank character, but he does have like the Vestophobia and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that means he can't, uh, he doesn't have the infinite survival, which kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. I'd like to give one shot on it. If you really want to. Okay. And of course, I'm the one rolling and having no point doubles. Uh, I could do, well, two dice would be almost no chance. Um, though, actually, that may be better. Um, it's almost no chance, but I can't get the dismembered leg. So, if I ended up in the 8 to 15, I can add the third die for a second try. You did just roll the third die. Why would you do that? Uh, because it's because with just two dice, um, I'm less likely to die, but I still have a 20% chance of getting it first try. And I basically can't, almost no chance of die. Only 10, well, ooh, 10% chance and 20 and 18% compounded would be worse. Okay, I see what you're saying. Oh, you really think I'm going to kill myself, don't you? Yeah, I'm not sure it's a good risk reward, but. Oh, no doubles, and I got 17. Is that enough? That is enough, I think. You brave the darkness of the mouth for just a moment before bolting to safety, gain plus two courage. Oh, okay. Yay! <laughs> One more courage and we have another people of the star. Okay. Oh, God, that was close. Okay, so, 
No death! <laughs> so, we can't get Noble easily to Periwinkle, can we? Uh, no. Okay. Because the easiest way is to do understanding, and... Bob Blue is the one going for the Unbreakable needs to age. Oh, Blue. Oh, Blue. Um... Scar for Feldspar would give him Sculptor. He just needs a Scar? Just needs a Scar. That's all he needs. Yes. Literally all. Yep. If we spend on Arena, mm -hmm. we have a 20% chance of him dying. Okay. But a 20% chance of him getting a Scar. And a 50% chance of permanent accuracy. And a 10% chance of Frozen Star. If he gets Frozen Star... And we could get him a fighting art. He could get unbreakable and get a uh, get rust. But I don't think we can get him a fighting art. Uh. He just aged. Ha! Uh, he doesn't have any survival. Um, oh shoot! No, he doesn't. Uh. He is ageless. He is our grand weapon master, though. It doesn't matter at this point. Like, I mean, it, it matters a little bit, but it doesn't matter as much as you'd think. Okay. Because if he dies, then... Um, uh, if he dies, we still have Weapon Mastery in the settlement. Oh, good point. So we lose the ability to... When a Grand Master Weapon Master perfectly hits with a Grand Weapon, which is only one die, cancel all reactions for that attack. Oh, okay, that's not that big of a deal. It's, it's nice. But Don't it's get me not, wrong. It's but... not game-breaking. Oh, um, good. All he needs is Scar, and he's a Sculptor. Then. And then all we need is uh, an age there. That would put us with... So we have 11 people left. Yes. If we don't take any risks on the hunt... We're probably going to hunt the Screaming Antelope to go for the possible One Courage hunt event. Okay. Yeah, let's risk the arena. Let's risk the arena on Feldspar. Okay, so we spend one... Wait, what is a uh, higher probability of Scar Arena or the, the, the throne? throne? Because we have a 20% chance of death, right? Yeah. Um, what's the chance of Scar? Uh, 20%. Okay, so throne is 30% chance of death, but 40% chance of Scar. If we get a scar, literally, he's just a sculptor. Yes. That's all he needs. Okay. Let's do the throne. Doing the throne? Three to six. You want a three to six. Three to six. Three to six. Three to six. Ten. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> we get an innovation. We get an innovation. Is it just a random? Draw the top card of the innovation deck and add it to your settlement at no cost. Okay, so there goes our chance of getting four uh, people of the stars. That was our best chance. We did get another never though. And we get bloodletting. Oh, wait, I didn't shuffle. You didn't shuffle. I just put them on top. Roll well. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that did not go well. Nope. Oh. <sighs> uh... Oh, that would have been nice. Yeah. We are we were actually on the border of possibly getting four people with the stars. Okay. So for our innovation, we get Song of the Brave. Um all non-deaf survivors add one to the roll results on overwhelming darkness and add the Song of the Brave consequences. Okay. So now there we you go. Uh, just Saga? Yep. Yeah, Saga's actually kind of neat. Okay, so now, our best options, we need... We still need three more people of the stars, right? Yeah. So the other thing is, we can still send Umber... Well, does Umber have any survival? Uh, yes. But, so first, Bob Blue's just going to get it on our hunt, most likely. Okay. So he will become a people of the stars. We have... Then we have... Blue Crate, who needs Scar and base accuracy. Yeah, and he's negative one accuracy. He's not going to get it. What do you mean, he, negative one? Oh, he'd have to get two pluses. He has to get oh, two Oh, Jesus, accuracy. that would no. be hell. Yeah, it's not happening. Okay, good. Good point. That's, that's not well, happening. Well, how much survival does he have? Four. <sighs> yeah, no. 
it's not happening. Ten is usually well, yes. Yeah, I know. It's kind of well, but it was good for the settlement and not so good for, like, the character. Involved. How many times did we send characters up that throne and couldn't roll a ten to save our lives? Yeah, I know. Um, okay. Yeah, he'd have to get two plus one accuracies, which I don't think you can do. No. I think that's a one-time thing. No, you can. You oh. can do it via nightmare training, and you can do it via arena. In fact, Arena has a pretty good chance of giving you permanent accuracy. It has a 50% chance. Oh. But the problem is you have to do a, a an iron every time that you do it. But we're going to lose our iron anyways. Yeah, I suppose that's true. He needs the two accuracy and he needs a scar. Uh, okay, then that would be three rolls against Arena. And we have three iron. Yeah, but we have a 20% chance every time we do it of him dying. Which would be bad. Well, I mean, how bad would it really be at this point? He's not he, he's not a people of the stars. Yeah, at this point we're at this point what we're worried about is people without people of the stars, we're just going to die. We're kind of, you know, yeah. So do we want to do it? That's all of our iron, and of course, twenty percent chance that he dies each time. And there's no chance of getting a getting noble onto Periwinkle. No, pretty much no. Damn it. The only way would be to face the tyrant, which we can't do. Oh, okay. Oh, because you can get it from the Tyrant fight. Yeah. Oh, shit. And Periwinkle is our... Periwinkle non-clone is already a sculptor. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're not getting full courage on Bisk. That's just not happening. We're not getting pristine on Periwinkle clone. Uh, we could get the courage still on Umber, so we're... Him, we have these two characters are well on path to getting constellations. We need one more, mm -hmm. is what we're thinking. And these are only five other characters, right? We have no one else. Other than the two you've got there, which I don't think they're lined up at all. No, they aren't. Okay. They have basically no chance. Jade has... Uh, if Jade could get two... Yeah, no. Jade can't do it. What do you need? Uh, he needs Oracle's Eye, which he doesn't have. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Can't yeah. happen, basically. Yeah, and I'm not getting six more understanding onto CL. Okay. I don't think. That seems unreasonable, and we'd have to get destined. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so do we want to be reckless and just try to do the arena? I think so. Okay. So this is the first one for arena. And one of our irons? Yep. So that's that. Two... And the first what do you roll, need to roll? I need to, to get roll scar and to get five through nine is permanent accuracy. Three through four is scar. But as soon as I roll a scar, then the chance roll goes up to twenty to forty percent that he dies anytime he rolls on this table. Because if you get a second scar, you die. Okay. All right. So first roll. Dead. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> we get refunded our endeavor though. Oh yay! And we just lost our bowmaster. Yeah. Oh, this is going well. So the two best chances we had, we blew. Yep. Welcome to Kingdom Death. Wow. I don't think we have any other chance. No. Okay. So at most, we're going to end up with three people of the stars. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... That's um, just the way things are. Okay. And I don't think we want to send... Umber is too close to the Courage one to send him for risk for the scar. Mm -hmm. But worst case, if he gets a scar, he also becomes a people of the stars. Mm -hmm. So if we don't happen to get the courage, we can always take a risk with him. Okay. Um, and then this character just needs the hunt XP from the final hunt. Okay. Assuming that they get a... Uh... Well, no, we just send the vestments with and they pick an unbreakable. Oh, it's a roll. I keep forgetting that. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Okay. I think that's... Well, we have three. Um, I say at this point we go for the courage through scrap smelting. Does that seem reasonable? Yeah. Scrap salvage. It's a one in ten chance, but if we get one of them out of three, we get uh, we get him up to people of the stars now. Okay. Okay. First one. I'm missing a die. That's why you rolled bad. I took you took one of my dice. No, you took one of my you threw one of my ear dice over in my section. Okay, so first one. Um, I do have three survival I can spend, so I can do this all three times. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is low odds, and yeah, we can only terrible. get two broken lanterns. Yep. Okay, so first one, ten, ten, seven. We get a broken lantern. 
Okay. Next one, and that goes one of his survival. Eight, Broken Lantern. Okay. So oh, wait, he doesn't lose survival on either of those. Okay. And last one, switch dice, and hope for that ten. Yeah, why couldn't I, why couldn't I roll the ten on this? Or you roll the ten on this. Four, that's a survival. Okay. No courage for us. And he's okay. down to two survival. And we have, well, we got both lantern resources. Which yeah. we're going to lose. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn the fresh acanthus into a dried acanthus. Good call. So that gives us four dried acanthus. I can't think of anything to craft just to blow through the resources right now. Um, actually, do we want another monster grease or anything out of the yeah. organ? Monster Grease would be useful because we lost one, remember? Oh, right. Make the Monster Grease out of the testes. Well. You, you use... Yeah. <laughs> Rubbing ourselves with testes! <laughs> um, hey, we grind it up good first. Wasn't there something we could make with the Shimmering Mane, I remember? Uh, yeah, you can make a lion headdress. Which make is it. an accessory. Yeah, make it. Uh, you need to look it up in the Catarium to make sure that there's no other resources required. Oh, right, I think yeah. it's just that, but just to make sure. That's a good call. Yes, just the Shimmering Mane. Okay. So we will craft that. That leaves us with a couple of Lion Claws. Uh, having more Claw Head Arrows, is no, that useful? we already have like three. Oh, okay. Uh, another King Spirit all useful? No. We've already got like three. Okay. Um... Do, do, do. Yeah, I'm not seeing much. Okay. Uh, then I think we just stash these two lion claws. Okay. Um. Actually, one other thing that we should do is uh, check the um. So we have four leather. Oh, we do. Yeah. Oh. We should at least make pick axes or something. Oh yeah, good call. Um. Oh, wrong one. Um. Ah. Spend both lion claws and two leather. Make a pickaxe and a sickle. Okay. I assume we have ammonia. Yes. <laughs> We've had ammonia for a very, very long time now. Thank God. And we still have two more leather? Yep. Do um, we want to make any other Phoenix gear? Do we have any other Phoenix stuff? Phoenix finger, Phoenix whisker, pustules, shimmering halo. Wait, we have a finger? Yeah. I saw something for that. We have a phoenix finger. Yes. How much bone do we have in town? A lot. Um, one, two, three, four. We have four in town? Yeah. What is a finger of God? Sorry, finger of God. Is that plumery? Yes. Or no, weapon crafter. Sorry. Finger of God. Weapon melee spear two-handed. Reach two. As long as you have five plus survival gain, plus one accuracy, and plus one strength. Two, five, five. We can make that. You do need three colors, but... Let's make it. Yeah. We're going to lose the resources. We're going to keep the two iron, because we can use that possibly to do stuff with. Well, we're gonna lose it but no yeah. we get it. the pottery will let us keep the two iron uh right yes okay so i'm trying to spend almost everything but that what else do we have left other than the two iron and the two scrap we just got um so how much did we what did we have to spend for that uh one phoenix finger and four bone okay and did you spend we already spent the lion claw yes we did other than that, we have so we have two broken lanterns, which is the scrap, yep. one cyclops fly, two Bad. iron, two leather, one bladder, mm -hmm. two pelt, 
one screaming brain, one phoenix whisker, one pustules, one shimmering halo. Hmm. Where was that? Um, you said the I'm looking at stone circle. Um. Blood paint. Do we have another organ other than the bladder? We have the screaming brain, and we have pustules. Okay, use the use the screaming brain and make a blood paint with the bladder. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Blood paint. Okay. As we're just spending everything to spend everything. Mm -hmm. We're very good at that. We're probably going to lose it, so. Exactly. Um, <laughs> Unless, like, the fucking butcher falls over. You know, actually thinking about it, mm -hmm. what we totally ought to do is go in there naked. Why? Because remember that thing where he'll fixate on a particular survivor and then, like, that survivor dies and loses all their gear, but he leaves? Oh, so we only lose one person. Yeah. If yeah. We do that. Actually, that's a good idea. So actually what we ought to do is um, we should use a hide to craft a rawhide headband. Why? Because then we can bring a rawhide headband in. But do we have to have that linked up? You yeah. You do, don't you? Okay. Do we have two hide? Yeah, we have two pelt. Uh, we have two pelt? Turn it into a headband and a vest. Okay, so we have another headband and another vest. And then we'll have a character just going with those to stack his AI deck to make somebody leave. If we can, yeah. It's random who we lose, but... Yeah, I don't think we care that much. No. Okay. Okay. And I don't think we have anything else left, really. Yeah. We have two leather, but we don't have any other Phoenix materials, do we? Uh, pustules, Shimmering Halo. Whiskers, Pustules, sh Shimmering Halo is an organ, right? Yeah. Um, and we have the two scrap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can't make any more of his gear without feathers. Um, we can't, the, what is the hours ring again? We need five organ, plus the Shimmering Halo. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that was the problem there. Too bad. Yep. Um, can't make anything off the leather worker. That's useful. Weapon craft or anything else there. We could... we have bone? Uh, we are flat out of bone. Okay, we are out of bone. Okay. Boned. We are boned. Or lack mm -hmm. thereof, as it may be. We're yes. usually good with that. Um, so no more sickles or pickaxes, um, no more monster tooth necklaces, not enough for that crap, hold on, oh yeah, we don't have enough bone, not enough bone. Actually, you know what, though, we don't have to face the butcher. Yeah, I know. No, it's just, I'm realizing we're spending all of our materials, but we don't have to face the butcher. Um, the hand will kill Jade Noble. Why? Uh, if we lose, he just kills Jade Noble. That's all he does. How do we know he would kill Jade Noble, specifically? Otherwise, he slaughters all retired survivors in the settlement. Oh, pfft. could give a shit about that. The King's Man is, uh would destroy pottery, ironically. <laughs> That's all he does. Yeah. Is destroy pottery. Hmm. That's if we lose. Yeah, that's if we lose. So we could go to the King's Man and try to run away. Yes. Hmm. But at this point, I think it doesn't really matter. Uh, I mean, it gives us a better chance overall, but... Yeah, let's I mean, go to the King's Man and try to run away. We lose the survival limit, so that's the problem. I'm not too worried about that. We're already at eight without that. Okay. Okay, so let's do the King's Man next and uh, call that good. Okay. Okay, so for those of you watching on the stream, we are going to uh, lock this video and head right into facing the uh, King's Man level three.